I am genuinely surprised they did not want to attack on either of those. Alright, because these guys were so uh, stupid to go in there, now I need to reconnect there. I can put these guys in there, that'll be fine. Just like that. Can we please kill it? Jeez. Please kill it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
I can already see the following happening. There's these guys moving out to attack these, leaving that open. Enemy going in there. Yeah. That is definitely how it looks like. Would be nice if I would have been able to push them away, but... Nah. Can you guys please attack? Thanks. At least the AI attack, they're more useful than my troops, or the colonial troops, that is, it seems like. Alright, just repairing these, that's okay. I won't be able to go for both Sasiris and Badajos. If only these guys would have been more proactive, then I might have made it. But these guys are so passive on these guys that they're willing to take absolutely zero losses which is just impossible to deal with Okay. Now let's hope they'll actually do something. All right, in here. to start pummeling that mixed brigade I don't know how often they would repair it ultimately my goal would be to get onto this hex but I need good bombing runs on the BT-5 but that's simply not happening at the moment, um, which is making things quite difficult there. I could technically encircle the BT-5. And these guys at the moment. By moving into these places and at the very least getting the recon in place. That helps some. It's hilarious that these guys are bunker killers, but then they're so weak they will have nine. And then because these guys have 18 defense, they still cannot even damage it. So technically the bunker killer ability on this guy is useless like it serves no purpose because 
even with that, they cannot attack the strong point. At least they cannot damage the strong point despite that. So it's actually a bit silly. <laughs> In that sense. I need to get their entrenchment down to eventually take them. Hmm. I could probably get something else in there right next to it. If I can move in here Ah, sweet. Okay, it's not bad. All right, um, they will stay there apparently. So I guess let's do this. That's not my unit, but they are fully suppressed. Might a, might as well move here. They they cannot attack in any possible way. I'm gonna try and sneak around a bit. See how that goes with the recon. Um. Let's block the road. Huh. Please just move these guys first. Come on. Okay. No, why? That's another victory X. Okay, good, good. I 
They will uh, not proceed further, I would wager. So I'm, I'm going to have to to deal with it. They are repairing these. They will no longer be able to attack. They will. Hmm. Oh, come on, really? One? What are the odds anyway? 88. That's ah, just a bunch of hogwash. Let's get aggressive on them though. Keep repairing. Seven four, huh? Thanks. So it circles them, and that's what I need. All right. So I should be able to get that in the upcoming turns, probably, at that point. Nothing can pass through. We take this. Okay. Now. Let's relocate all of these. If they move in here, I will have a problem, so that's no good. Okay, so... Obviously... This is a risk. Hmm. Can't even move in through there, huh? Okay. be pleasing if they were to move up in some way and they are okay that, that actually helps a little bit I'm 
Mm-hmm. Like, not too much. Okay, so they can get in there. I mean, at, at this point, I have to take risks like this. To potentially get Cassiris as well. <clears throat> Let's go. Um... Okay, let, let's go here. So... It... Matters not how they move. It really would have suited them if I actually dealt some damage. Ah, great. Because now these guys are on siege. That means I can move up the infantry. Okay, they're at seven. Right, I still can't attack them, but it... Uh, it, it's it's getting there. All right, so we know there's another BT five coming. Cannot bomb there, uh, but they would need a fighter escort, which I have. Okay. Pretty neat. You can move up here. And you up here, which is super dangerous. I know. I know. Mm. Yeah, let's move you up. Yeah, they will remain encircled through this area. I think they can really do better than this. Damn it. 
All right, let's let's deal with this first then. So this is two five. Dajos. Very good. They will have a hard time retaking it either which way. <clears throat> Alright, so with that done, we need to focus on this. First of all, Tagging that guy is not possible. But it is okay to bomb them now. Ah. Out of reach. So close. I don't think these guys will attack, but it might be worth a shot to try. Also, I can try to lure them out. These guys will try to grab this village. Let's grab some more airfields then. All right, so with those covered, Time to move these out. Well, 
I want to take a look whether there's something there. One, two, three, four. But they have only five movement. So then the T26 will go after me. That's just uh, bad beats all around. So I am definitely not pursuing that. All right, I can still take that. If I get my units in position on the next turn. Please attack. Nope. Oh, they will. move you can take that next turn hmm. I don't really care if these guys get damaged a lot Sweet. Yeah, so they do have a militia there too. One, two, three, four. So the best thing I can do is take this village. That's still some extra points. Doesn't hurt. Now for the main prize, it's a series. I they're in the way, crazily in the way. All right, so just shell these then. Did you attack? No. Again, the artillery, and I do expect these to be blocked by their infantry. Which really should be happening. I won't be able to take the airfield, but uh, you can't have everything.
But who knows, maybe the uh, Spanish will do something actually uh, useful. They were okay in this mission. Could have been a bit better, but uh, they surely put me under a lot of stress. Technically, they could attack if they used their extended movement. Ah, uh, they're just going for them. No luck, huh? Oh, oh they attacked. Wow. Uh, don't tell me that you're just gonna give me some low rolls and then I can't kick them out. Come on, game. Just don't do that to me. Can I? Yeah, I'm gonna bomb them. No, no. Ah, thank you. Jeez. Whew. insane at that last moment uh, they still have a counterattack I do hope they'll be swarming that take that hex gee I got so scared when I got those low rolls I was like oh come on <laughs> you're not gonna do this please game all right, but it luckily uh, the, it uh, it didn't turn on me in the end. Right, push them back. You in here? Yeah, pretty much stuck there. Definitely not going to take another flag, but let's guard the bridges. See if I can scrounge a little bit of experience somewhere. Not likely. But we'll see. Yeah, really a, a couple of turns short from wiping, actually wiping the map. Really, I really would have thought that they would go for that, but that leaves me wide open again. Okay, not too bad. Too bad. Fine. Oof. Okay, I get no actual end briefing, but uh, at least they put up there what historically happened. It's a minor improvement, but they still didn't really listen to what people were telling them, like, you know, make actual, actual end briefings. Like, why can't you just have a commander telling you, 
you did a good job. That that's all we wanted. Just somebody who said, "Hey, great job! You captured the series. You went the extra mile." But uh, nope. Um, also, they still did not actually introduce minor major victories. They have these bonus objectives, which is nice. Um, but it's still not the same, and like I said, this game is an, it is an improvement, I think, on the base game. But they are still not there. Like, they still haven't actually listened to what people wanted, I feel, personally. Um, I know that the developers kind of, you know, they had their own ideas when they were making this game. And it feels like, even though they understand that these complaints are there they still kind of like they are reluctant to uh, change the game it feels like in the way that people want and uh that that's why you get these kind of half-assed endings it, it seems like yeah exactly um so it's an improvement but basically only by 0.5 like you know you, you could have done a lot better but it's still okay like i said at least i'm, I'm enjoying this now and it, i find there to be actual challenge in this like i said i actually did not expect to be able to take both Ceceris and but uh badajos by turn 14 15 because these guys were just so inefficient uh, especially down here, not willing to commit to any potential damage that they might take. And luckily they went with me, otherwise I would have been in a lot of trouble actually capturing that, I think. So at least they did pull through a bit, but uh, yeah, th that was rough. Not gonna lie, that I think the difficulty level has significantly improved uh, from the main game. That, that at least, I have to give it to them, that that works out a lot better. I think this uh, this is a lot more challenging, um, but not in the sense that it's challenging because you know the enemy has more strength or whatever. That that's not not the case. I I, I like the uh, but that this is is more difficult. Anyway, historically, the nationalist forces and their allies made rapid advances in the early months of the civil war. The professional soldiers of the Army of Africa swept aside poorly equipped and hastily formed Republican militias that attempted to block their advance to Madrid. Well, it wasn't that easy. And the soldiers of Africa did not do most of the fighting. That was mostly us. In just a few months, General Franco had advanced halfway across the country and was now preparing for a major offensive to seize Madrid itself. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye. After this, my best units, the Heinschel 123 bombers, then hilariously, one of the Junker 52s, then the Heinschels, apparently the fighters, the 203mm, and yeah, what's the lowest? The Fluck, actually. Huh.